Hello, I'm Ben Miller and I'm the author of The Boy Who Made the World Disappear, uh, which is a story about a, well, an eight-year-old boy with a rather bad temper called Harrison who kicks off at a birthday party and instead of a balloon, they give him a black hole uh, on a piece of string. Um, anyway, I thought I would read you um, the, uh, well, the end of the first chapter to uh, tickle your interest. As it were. So this, um, yeah, th in this bit of the story, Harrison is just leaving the birthday party. His parents have come to collect him, and um, Shelley, the party organizer, is giving everyone their party bags. Okay. <clears throat> one by one, Shelley gave each child a party bag and a beautiful shiny helium balloon in the shape of a planet. There was a stripy brown and yellow Jupiter for Hector Brune and a purple Venus for Persephone Brinkwater. Charlie Nwosu got a sky blue Neptune, Marcus Down an orange Saturn with pink rings and Carl Un a bluey green Uranus. Katie Broad got a silvery Mercury, which was very lucky because it matched her angel costume. Finally, it was Harrison's turn. Have you got a balloon for Harrison? His mother asked Shelley. Oh yes, said Shelley. Something flickered in her eyes. I've got a very special balloon for Harrison. Uh, just wait here one minute. She disappeared into the kitchen, closing the door behind her. There was a sound of whizzing, as if something was being put in a blender. Then, bang! The kitchen door blew clean off its hinges, sailed across the hall, slammed against the opposite wall, and clattered to the floor. There, framed in the doorway, was Shelley. Her spacesuit was covered in soot and all her pink hair was on end. In her right hand was a piece of string and floating at the end of it was a weird black circle. Um, are you okay? asked Harrison's father. Here's your balloon, Harrison, said Shelley, tying the string to his wrist. It's oh, very kind of you, said Harrison's mother. My pleasure, said Shelley. He deserves it. Harrison reached out his hand, took hold of the string, and pulled the balloon towards him. It was pitch black, like a piece had been cut out of the universe. He blew at it, to see if it bobbed backwards like a balloon should, but instead it loomed ever so slightly closer. I, I wouldn't do that if I were you, Shelley warned. In fact, best not to touch it. Harrison gave her a quizzical look. In case it pops, said Shelley smiling a big, innocent smile. Well, what are you saying, Harrison? asked his mother. Thank you, said Harrison politely. You're most welcome, Harrison, said Shelley with a glint in her eye. You're most welcome indeed. Well, there you are. That's the end of the first chapter of The Boy Who Made the World Disappear. And, uh, of course, Harrison goes on to have many adventures with his black hole because he discovers that anything that makes him cross, he can just put it in there and get rid of it. So uh, in goes Broccoli, um, the next door neighbour's snappy dog, the school bully. Eventually, he even puts his parents in a black hole. And that's when his problems start because he realises that he's put some things in there that he'd really like to get back. But as you probably know, once you put something into a black hole, it's not very easy to get it out again. The rest of Harrison's adventure is all about his attempt to try and get his parent back. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the story. Uh, please do look out for it and, uh, well, maybe download it and, uh, and have a read of it for yourself. Anyway, bye for now.